but back, well, leggings, tall leather boots, blazers, all fall wardrobe essentials, mm -hmm. but you may not know they're inspired by horseback riders. Some of our favorite styles come from equestrians, and this weekend is the 2014 Chicago Hunter Derby. That is an event uh, that is benefiting Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. the University of Chicago Cancer Research Foundation, and the United States Hunter Jumper Association Foundation. We've got Michelle Derpetti. She's here to discuss this unique benefit and equestrian-inspired fall fashions. That's right. It's a fashion segment, <laughs> folks. Very exciting. I'm impressed you got all the names right. That was really Thank you. It was a mouthful, right? So, so let's talk about the through the ages very quickly because I know people want to see the fashions. Mm -hmm. How, I mean, uh, horseback riding has really tied into what Absolutely. we see on the streets today. What's so interesting is, you know, the equestrian sport and all of its various facets have been around forever. I mean, every time we think of like the olden days, you know, you think of breeches and men riding horses and, you know, the knight in shining, the knight in shining armor. Well, chaps, on not so much, basis. right. Okay. But so, you know, <laughs> in lifestyle and fashion today, iconic brands like Ralph Lauren and Tory right. Burch and sure. even, you know, Gucci, there's always a, a little bit of equestrian in there. So the look we've compiled today are sort of inspired by really the functional side of horseback riding, those of us that are equestrians. So you can kind of see a little bit of where it translates from. Okay, so the first is a riding look, right? Yes, yeah, so the first look is Hannah, and she's actually in a traditional formal uh, outfit for competition. So this weekend at our derby, this is what you'll see riders wearing. And she is in a traditional, it's called the Shad Belly, the jacket, and that is actually by Animo. It's an Italian brand. She's wearing a shirt and a stock tie. So Hannah, if you can point to your stock tie. The cool thing about that is back in the day, those were actually used. They doubled as bandages for riders. If ah. a rider got injured, if a horse got injured, you could use it as a tourniquet even. So if you so, go, you can feel like you're good hands exactly. to this event. Form <laughs> and function. So and okay. she's also wearing breech and belts by tailored sportsmen. Very so. nice. You look great. Look just perfect. It Thank smells you, like Hannah. leather in here, by the way, as well. I said, <laughs> throw that out there. Okay, who do we have next? Next look is Kimberly Penfold, if we can have her walk down. And Kimberly is, looks adorable. She's in a barber jacket. And again, this is a brand that's over 100 years old. So you see how there's just this looks staying like a power. look that you would see typically fall day, a typical fall yes, day on absolutely. Chicago, Michigan Avenue. The scarf and the jacket are both from Barber. She's wearing a breech by Lafash, which is a really popular brand amongst equestrians. And this one is great because it can function outside of the horse world as well. And her backpack is actually by Asmar and is, you know, very current trend right now. Backpacks are definitely coming back. So we just love the look and her shoes are adorable. It's uh, actually Patricia Green. You can see the bit loafer, which is pretty so iconic cute. on a lot of different looks. And yeah. I love too the suede on the yep. uh, inside of her knee. Yes. When you're cute. riding, that actually helps you. It protects your knee a little bit, but uh, you I know, when you're, like not, right, right, when you're not riding, okay. it's very and fashionable. And finally, who do we have? Our last look is Lynn Jane and she is modeling a tuxedo shirt and bre uh, breeches also by Lafash again. Love this shirt. It's actually made with bamboo, so it's it's really it breathes really easily. I absolutely love it. The snaffle belt that she's wearing again, you see that sort of equestrian touch in there is by Tailored Sportsman. Her purse is by Asmar, which is another beautiful equestrian brand, and her loafers are also by Patricia Green. So, so you, cute. Mm -hmm. Do you guys look comfortable as well? Yes, perfect. Yes. Form and function, like yes. I said, you know. So, Michelle, tell me about the event, then, if people want to attend. So, the Chicago Hunter Derby is happening this Saturday and Sunday. It's out in Antioch. All of the information is available on our website, which is Chicago Equestrians for a Cause. We have a great open-to-the-public event on Saturday. It's $25 suggested donation. Sunday, like I said, tickets are available online, and that's a little bit fancier. It's our champagne brunch. Uh, horses. How much are tickets for the champagne brunch? Um, I believe they are about two seventy-five. Whoa! But okay. again, that's the fancier day. That's okay. why we have the Saturday day open what to the public. What can people expect then if the public does come out? What kind of events are they well, going to see? Uh, on both days, there are children's activities, petting zoos, um, all kinds of things. It's family friendly. Of course, you'll see horses jumping over beautiful obstacles. There's this gorgeous field, and they're competing. Uh, there's an international derby that has a fifty thousand dollar purse. Wow! So that's very exciting. Great food. Barrington Saddlery provided all of the looks you saw today. They're also one of our premier vendors. They'll be there offering all of these looks available for sale. Great. Uh, in addition to some other vendors, we have Paramount Events is providing some beautiful food. Uh, there's a band on Saturday night. We're doing a little Derby After Dark party. So really, it's a weekend-long festivity, all for these three great causes. That's great. Michelle, mm -hmm. thanks so much for thanks coming. Thanks for having of course, us. all benefiting some great causes, Absolutely. as you mentioned as well. For more information on the Chicago Hunter Derby, you can go to Chicago Equestrians for a Cause, as Michelle said, mm -hmm. dot com.